Namaste friends. In today's tutorial, we'll learn how to create a cinematic particle logo animation using Adobe After Effects. We'll be working with the text Motion PXL. Let's get started. First, open Adobe After Effects. Press Ctrl plus N to create a new composition. Name it Main Logo. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 pixels, frame rate to 29.97 frames per second, and duration to 10 seconds. Once done, click OK. Step 2, Importing and Preparing the Text. Select the Text tool and type Motion PXL. Adjust the scale by selecting the text layer and pressing S. Right-click on the text layer, choose Precompose, name it, Logo, select, Move All Attributes, and click OK. Step 3, Applying Metallic Texture. Drag it onto the timeline, placing it below Go Layer. Scale down the texture slightly. Set the texture layer's track mat to Alpha Mat, Logo. Right-click on the texture layer, Go to Layer Styles, and select Bevel and Emboss. Adjust the settings, Technique to Chisel Hard, Size to 63, Highlight Mode to Overlay with Cyan Color, Highlight Opacity to 100%, and Shadow Opacity to 80%. Apply the Curves effect to enhance contrast and details. Step 4, Adding Beveled Black Fill. Duplicate the logo layer by pressing Ctrl plus D. On the duplicate layer, apply the fill effect and set the color to black. Add the bevel alpha effect. Setting edge thickness to 3.2, adjusting light angle as needed, and light intensity to 1. Change the blending mode of this layer to add. Step 5. Creating supporting compositions. Create three new compositions. Create first compositions of big chunk. Place the logo composition inside. Apply the cell pattern effect. with cell type set to plates, sharpness to 616, and size to 2. Create second compositions of logo shatter. Place the logo composition inside. Add the fractal noise effect. Setting contrast to 234. Brightness to minus 6. And in the transform section, scale to 2. Create third compositions of gradient map. Place the logo composition inside. Apply the simple choker effect.
with a value of minus 12. Add the gradient ramp effect. Set shape to radial ramp, swap colors, and adjust positions. Apply the fast box blur effect with a blur radius of 7. Step 6. Building the logo animation. Create a new composition named Logo Animation. Drag in the main logo, big chunks, logo shatter, and gradient map compositions. Turn off the visibility of big chunks, logo shatter, and gradient map layers. Select the main logo layer and apply the shatter effect. Set view to rendered, shape to custom, and custom shatter map to logo shatter. Set extrusion depth to zero. Adjust force settings, force 1 with radius 85 and strength 30. Force 2. Radius 29. Strength 6. Set the gradient layer to gradient map. Animate the shatter threshold at 2.5 seconds, set to 0. At 6.5 seconds, set to 100. Duplicate the main logo layer and change its shatter map to big chunks. Step 7. Final Touch Composition. Create a new composition named Final Touch. Place the logo animation composition inside. Apply the CC Light Sweep effect Shape set to smooth, width to 100, edge intensity to 100, edge thickness to 1.9, and light reception to cutout. Animate the center point from left to right. Duplicate this layer, remove the light sweep effect, and add the gradient wipe effect. Set transition softness to 100% and animate transition completion from 100% to 0% over 3 seconds. Shift this layer a few frames forward in the timeline.
Step 8, Adding Background and Depth. Import and place a grungy texture in the timeline. Make it 3D. and apply the curves effect to enhance contrast. Add a smoke layer, make it 3D. Create a null object, parent all layers to it, make the null 3D. And animate its Z position from 0 to minus 400 for a zoom in effect.
Step 9, Final Color and Effects. Create an Adjustment Layer. Apply the Deep Glow effect 